Hello viewers and welcome to a special edition of The Model Guy. Things are a little bit different in this episode as I'm going to be doing a new segment that I'm going to call Robbie Reviews. And in this episode to kick things off, I'm going to be reviewing some resin that has been sent to me by ResKit. That is a lot of R's. The first set we're going to look at here is the resin engines release for the 148 Kitty Hawk fullback. On top of the resin replacements for the kit, ResKit also gives you some photo etch for some even more detail inside the engines. My first reaction when opening the boxes and seeing the resin parts is that they were beautifully detailed. Yes, the fullback kit comes with some resin nozzles included, but the res kit replacements completely blow them out of the water. Where some aftermarket companies would provide you with just the engine nozzles alone, ResKit goes even further and provides you with the internals to the engine and the detail is at the same standard. It's very, very finely done. By breaking the engine down into multiple parts, they're able to give you more detail than the kit slide molds. I'm not in any means an expert on Russian aircraft or jets, but by looking at references online, ResKit has really nailed the look of the parts they're replicating. When these internal parts are painted and hit with a wash, they're really gonna pop and bring some eye candy to the model. If these parts are grabbing your interest, they're available from ResKit's website and also from third-party sales as well. In this comparison between the kit resin and the ResKit resin, there's really no competition. You can see how much thicker the resin is from the kit and how much more detail is in the ResKit part. And it's a little bit longer, but like I said, it looks like it's very accurate when compared to references online. I did a quick price check for ResKit items compared to their competitors. And for the SU-34 tires, ResKit cost three more dollars than the next guy, but detail-wise, ResKit was beating them hands down. So it's up to you what your wallet's gonna allow, but for a few more dollars, I would go with the ResKit stuff. Here you can see the detail in the decals for their ejector racks. They're very small and a little bit of carrier film, but when you're handling stuff that small, the carrier film helps. Because I was so impressed with the items that ResKit had sent me for review, I spent my own money to pick up a set of SU-34 tires to be included in my model when I build it. And having ordered these from a third party vendor, the detail was still the same and nothing was lacking. When I compared the ResKit parts to the parts included in the kit, I didn't notice any shrinkage and everything matched up size wise for mounting. So it looks like it's all direct drop parts. I wanted to look at some other items that ResKit was offering as well, so I asked if I could see their 148 figures. And this set here is for a Japanese ground crew, and the detail on these in 148 is mind-blowing. I couldn't find any imperfections in the resin, and the detail, again, it is on par with 132 and 135 figures. It is very well done. Considering how big a pilot's head is in 148, crazy. Moving into another scale, these are the tires and rims provided for the 132 Legacy Hornet. The details and the rims were very well done, and another thing that really stood out was they didn't over-exaggerate how flat carrier tires are. They're usually a higher pressure due to the nature of the operations, but there's a little bit of a bulge there, and it looks fantastic. Changing gears to look at the helicopter stuff they offer, these are for the Sea King, and the detail was so much more than I was expecting. I was really blown away by this. Include is the tail wheel, but there's gonna be a lot of cleanup there And that's the only negative thing I could find so far like getting in behind those struts is gonna be a little bit of work But again, that's gonna be levels above the kit part, which is very simple To close this review off. I can't find any faults with the items res kit provided even the stuff that I bought for myself It's all very well done and anything you're building is going to another level when you include this stuff if you like this review and everything included, please hit subscribe and hit the notification button. If your experience with ResKit is different than what I've had, definitely comment in the comment section below. I hope you found this review helpful, and this has been Robbie Reviews.